Ever wondered how billionaires have fun with their money? From exploring the deep sea to going on space vacations, they sure know how to enjoy life. Billionaires have interesting hobbies ranging from unique to super expensive. They own the fanciest yachts, play sports at clubs with $250,000 fees, and even travel the world in hot air balloons just for fun. Whether it's collecting race cars, relaxing on private islands, or doing extreme sports on weekends, here's a glimpse of how billionaires have a blast with their fortunes. Jeff Bezos has an incredible $180 billion in wealth. One especially interesting passion of Blue Origin's co-founder, which combines work and leisure, is exploring the ocean's depths in search of abandoned NASA rockets. Massive thrust chambers from the Apollo 11 mission were among the Saturn V rocket parts that the billionaire and his crew recovered from the Atlantic's depths. With a crew of 60, Bezos' first high seas expedition lasted for almost three weeks. This kind of large-scale exploration often costs more than $1 million each expedition. Operating an ocean research vessel typically costs $40,000 per day, which, when combined with the cost of hiring a crew of researchers and maintaining all the sophisticated equipment on board, makes Bezos' unusual pastime rather costly. Some billionaires are attempting something extraordinary because they are sick of taking the same old lavish holidays. Charles C. Monnier, a Microsoft Office millionaire, is presently valued at over $5.2 billion. When he spent $60 million on two flights with the Space Adventures Tour Company, he became the first millionaire in space. Co-founder of Cirque du Soleil, Guy La Liberté, whose current net worth is $1.6 billion, also gave space travel a try in 2009 when he took a month-long leave of absence to prepare for a trip to the International Space Station. He purchased his ticket for $35 million. One of the billionaires who want to depart Earth next is Jeff Bezos. Future premium space travel packages are anticipated to cost around $55 million. As everyone knows, boats are a passion of the wealthy, but billionaire yachting is a whole other story. At $4.8 billion, the History Supreme is the most costly yacht ever owned. It is owned by Malaysia's richest man, billionaire Robert Kuok, who at the time of this video is valued at $11.8 billion. Operating a yacht costs around 10% of its total worth each year, or about $100,000 for a million-dollar vessel. Even though the History Supreme is constructed of solid gold, its price is exaggerated and its annual maintenance and operating requirements exceed $1 million. Larry Ellison, the creator of Oracle and presently valued at $134 billion, enjoys sailing. Recently, he sold his $200 million ownership position in Sail GP Sailing League. Several billionaires are even mixing the two pastimes. Jeff Bezos just spent $500 million on a superboat that is designed for sailing. Although many billionaires are known to drive affordable vehicles under $100,000, they are undoubtedly wealthy and prefer to spend their money on pricey supercars. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, purchased the Lotus Elise underwater vehicle seen in James Bond's The Spy Who Loved Me for about $1 million, and Musk is now worth about $193 billion. Some effects from this vehicle can also be seen on the Tesla Cybertruck. In addition, he ended up spending close to $1 million on a McLaren F1. Mark Zuckerberg, whose net fortune is now estimated to be $130 billion, owns a single extremely expensive vehicle, a $1.3 million Pagani Huayra. Billionaires enjoy flying, and not only on private aircraft, some billionaires have an inventive streak. Richard Branson enjoys traveling by hot air balloon. The founder of Virgin Group, who is presently valued at $5 billion, made successful hot air balloon crossings of the Atlantic and Pacific in 1987 and 1991, respectively. Even yet, his journey came to an abrupt stop when he had to plunge into the sea. The expense of hot air ballooning is rather high. The balloon itself may cost up to $20,000, and flying instruction can cost up to $2,750. Billionaires enjoy high adrenaline sports to get their hearts racing, which is why Sergey Brin, co-founder of Google and currently worth $114 billion, enjoys skydiving and flying trapeze. The cost of skydiving equipment alone ranges from $5,000 to $9,000. Obtaining your qualification will set you back an additional $3,000, with each leap costing around $200. But we're sure that individuals like Bryn charter whole aircraft for a single day of skydiving. 
Richard Branson's an extreme sports enthusiast who also enjoys kite surfing in addition to hot air ballooning. He even smashed the record for the most persons riding a kite surfboard in 2017. While the cost of all the equipment for this pastime runs from $3,000 to $5,000, classes may run around $800. Because art may be extremely expensive, collecting it is a favorite interest among billionaires earning at least $5 billion. David Geffen, the creator of the record label of the same name, is worth $9.1 billion. To put the amount of money that passes hands in the art business into perspective, Geffen sold Willem de Koenig's Woman 3 for $137.5 million and Jackson Pollock's Number 5, 1948, for $140 million in 2006. They were the highest and second highest sums ever paid for an artwork at the time. He sold a second Pollock and a second Second day Kooning to fellow billionaire Kenneth Griffin in 2015 for $500 million. Griffin's presently valued at $15.9 billion. It's no secret that billionaires have unlimited travel options, but they want to travel in seclusion. As a result, many of them consider spending time on their own private islands to be a pastime. With 2,500 feet of beautiful sand beaches, Mark Zuckerberg owns a $100 million worth of land in Hawaii. Nearby, billionaire Larry Ellison purchased 98% of the Hawaiian island Lanai for an estimated $300 million. Mayor Michael Bloomberg once famously said, it doesn't matter if you're a world-class virtuoso like Beethoven or a guy who took one year of lessons like Bloomberg. Just sit down and let your fingers do the talking. The Play Me, I'm Yours art installation, which has 60 pianos strewn about New York City for individuals to play at will, was mentioned in relation to this phrase. The artist Luke Jerome's piece, which is scheduled to run from June 21st to July 5th, features authentic pianos in a number of public areas inside the Big Apple. People of all ages in New York are encouraged to display their musical abilities regardless of experience level. These pianos are positioned in public parks, streets, and plazas, and every day at 9 in the morning, attendants expose and unlock them. Famous locations include the Banchell in Central Park, the Brooklyn Bridge, Lincoln Center, and the Staten Island Ferry Terminal. As part of the idea, Piano Buddies, who are volunteers from local groups, look after the pianos in parks and public plazas. Everyone has a chance to embrace their inner musician and add to the dynamic, cultural fabric of the city. He has elevated his pastime to an entirely new plane. Certain billionaires have a strong need to be the center of attention, and they indulge in somewhat unusual hobbies to fulfill this demand. Jack Ma, a former CEO of Alibaba, who is presently valued at $48.4 billion, enjoys doing performances. Although he has performed live at Chinese music festivals, his most well-known role was playing Michael Jackson during his company's 18th anniversary celebration. The biggest expense here is the event itself. He played to 40,000 workers at a reception that cost at least a million dollars. However, he offered no compensation for his amazing performances. Nevertheless, it's among the most peculiar millionaire pastimes we've encountered. As per Business Insider, a typical billionaire has the ability to spend around $80 million annually on their preferred activities. Neither the expense of keeping up their lifestyle nor any bills are included in this. And it makes sense that billionaires indulge in such pricey pastimes given their level of discretionary wealth. Hey, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. We'll see you.